honorable scholars, respected brothers, elders, and esteemed sisters. It is indeed part of the short-sightedness of man that he only reflects over the apparent and forgets the hidden. He tends to focus on the visible and ignore the invisible. He highlights the prime of issues and discards its end result. Whereas in the Quran, Allah repeatedly invites us to introspect and reflect over the depth of matters and more importantly on its final result and its outcome. In other words, the gaze of a believer is not superficial and shallow. The gaze of a believer is deep, far reaching to the end. By way of example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, أَوَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْذُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Why not travel the earth and reflect over the nations that occupied the earth before you? And the key thing that the Quran invites us, كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ What happened to them in the end? To be relevant with the happenings of the world today, we have the Eurozone crisis, Greece, Spain, Portugal, Hungary, and heaven alone knows what happens beyond. Again, let's introspect on the outcome of the system, not at its beginning, not at its prime, but in the end, what happened to the system? The Prophet said it very eloquently, in riba wa in kathur, fa in aqibatahu tasiru ila qillin. Verily, a system, the lifeline of which is interest and usury, will inevitably bring that nation down to poverty and penury. One scholar elaborating very beautifully on the concept of interest, its beginning, its prime and its ultimate. He says it's pretty much like feeding a person food that is unhealthy, which creates obesity in the individual. Apparently there is growth, there is development, but that is obesity setting into that individual and that would ultimately make him more prone and susceptible to so many illnesses and so many diseases. In the very same way, if we look at the system today, it is running on that very same system. And unfortunately, you and I that have the Islamic system in place to counter this, we are hoarding this formula. Islam is not there to exploit the desperation of another person, but rather take him forward and assist him. So if I have $50,000 and somebody needs to buy himself a car, Islam would teach me that I don't milk his desperation. I don't exploit it, but rather I give it to him as a gesture. And what would I get in return? This kind gesture will bring blessings, divine happiness and barakah in my home. This is the Islamic module. This is the Islamic example.